Hey guys, Tony back again, Horin Todge. Hope you're all well. And it's the 1st of October, which means one thing. It's 31 days of horror. Now I've took part in this a couple of times, as you know. Um, a lot of people do this on YouTube. So essentially 31 days of horror is, you watch a horror film every day of October. So 31 in total. Watch one a day and do a re short review on here. So I really look forward to this. It's one of my favourite times of year because I don't get enough time to watch watch movies really with family life and stuff. But in October, I make it my sort of job to go out and watch one a day. So then tell you guys if it's any good or not. So yeah, let's get on with the video. This is day one, obviously. So welcome. Anyone new, um, I'm Tony. This is my channel, Horror in Todge. So if you're just, you know, checking in, that's who I am. Here's my collection behind me. Big physical media collector. Love horror films. Love all, all film really, but horror films is my jam. So 31 Days of Horror is right up my street. So let's get in with day one, guys. And I'm going to go with a film from 2019 called The Lodge. Now, I don't hear this getting much mention, you know, in in the community and stuff. I, I know people have have seen it, but... Yeah, great film, and I'm, I'm going to tell you a bit about it, guys. So this one's directed by Veronica Franz and Severin Fiala. they done Good Night, Mummy. And, um, yeah, like I say, it's a film from 2019, and it stars uh, Riley Keough, uh, Jaden Martell, Alicia Silverstone, and Richard Armitage. And it's a really simple story, simple but complex, if you know what I mean. It's a... Uh, very art house in style, this movie, and it's one of the sort of modern wave horror films. So if you're a big fan of Ari Aster's work or maybe a little bit of Jordan Peele, that sort of thing, uh, this is going to be right up your street. But very, yeah, Ari Aster-esque, I should, I should say, this movie. Very simple tale about two siblings, brother and sister, and they go on this sort of Christmas vacation to their dad's fiance stepmom to be's lodge and i think it's massachusetts so there's snow on the ground beautiful scenery in this cinema photography is fantastic you go to this big old sort of lodge which is really creepy and you're thinking oh it's going to be a ghost story or an home invasion story but it isn't it's just a a real slow burn about the human mind and uh, you know psychological psychologically and yeah just you know mental illness and just a real sort of deep dive into how cruel people can be it's just i don't want to go into too much detail guys because i want you to check this one out if you're into that sort of thing but yeah these these, these kids go away and they sort of resentful towards their stepmom to be and uh they're having she's having a hard time with them she, she hasn't got any kids herself and their dad is a little bit older than her and she's sort of struggling to get to grips with them they're not talking to her they're playing some pranks on her and stuff and then their dad he has to leave on a business trip so she's left for these two kids in this remote lodge in the middle of nowhere and there's a lot of snow on the ground so they can't get out by car or anything so she's just stuck there with these kids and it's just a really dark um suppose depressing movie really dark you know it's like i said the cinematography is fantastic you've got this big old old lodge and it's really dark inside and the set design's fantastic then you've got this light pouring in from from the windows where you've got a big you know a lot of white snow through the windows so it's sort of coming in through the windows and and laying a lot of shadows and stuff the music and the score in this, you know, the music score in this is fantastic too. It's sort of really quiet at some points and you get like spiky, spiky um, sort of jolts in it and uh, a couple of like jump scary bits. There isn't, it isn't really a scary film in that sense. It goes down the sort of psychological route, like I say, and how much the human brain can take and what happens if you've been affected uh, like but in childhood or, or early adolescence, if your brain has been sort of tampered with, if you've seen some d 
disturbing stuff or been subjected to abuse and that how sort of your mind can turn on its head so yeah it's just like that really it's just a really slow burn and these children are sort of getting on this woman's nerves and she's trying like and there's a lot of symbolism in this film as in christianity and lots of little a little um little homages to christ and stuff and um yeah just just a really dark movie and I, I absolutely loved it i thought you know i was really enthralled in it it was it was sort of uh nail biting it got me by the scruff of my collar and kept me there thinking you know what what's happening here and the ending the the, the final act with um rachel keogh's character grace i think her name was um her performance and this is fantastic just uh, yeah the final act if you, you'll know what i mean if you've seen this guys it's just uh jaw dropping and brutal at the same time it's um a very brutal watch not in the fact of there's loads of blood and guts and gore but like i say the ending and 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 how this sort of your mind works you know the human mind works it just gets really brutal really quick towards the end it's just yeah just a real descent but really good film uh there's also a bit of a disclaimer here i'm not going to say when it starts but there's a really like a suicide scene in this what took me by surprise i was like whoa um yeah it just comes out of nowhere and it's just if you've seen the film guys get in the comments you'll know what i mean but yeah i just thought it was jaw dropping i thought you know the set design the music the acting the um the story was really good like i say it kept going back to these sort of you had this sort of cult aspect where the dad he, he, he sort of met this lady who he's with who's now his fiance um through writing a book on a christian cult which a lot of people died from suicide and stuff so you keep getting these flashbacks and you're trying to piece together what's happened so yeah just a really good film guys i think you'll enjoy it if you're into that if you're just into your straight up slashes which i am but i'm into all horror you might not get a lot of enjoyment out of this one but for me i absolutely loved it so i'm not going to talk too much about it so get watching this guys the lodge i think it might be on amazon or something i've got the uh blu-ray from germany there wasn't a blu-ray release in the uk great film guys really enjoyed it so yeah definitely uh probably i'd give it out of 10 this is going to be i'll probably give it an eight and a half out of 10 and that's a really strong score for me because i don't i don't score films high i like them all i like i, I sort of give all films a sort of respect they deserve because someone's gone out and made them so i wouldn't say oh this film's rubbish but it it needs to get if eight and a half is a good score for me and i really enjoyed it and i think on a second watch it'll be just as good because you'll be looking for different um symbols and stuff which can piece stuff together even better than the first time you've watched it so just a brilliant film really enjoyed it like i say eight and a half out of ten guys uh stay with the channel because tomorrow it's going to be day two I'm going to be doing a film tomorrow. I'm not going to say what it is, but you don't hear many people talking about it. I know I said this about this one, but this one's a first time watch for me. The one I'm going to watch to tomorrow. And um, I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't heard no one mention it before. So yeah, tune in tomorrow for day two of 31 Days of Horror, guys. So I hope you like the video. Get in the comments and tell me what you thought of, you know, The Lodge or if you've seen it or... You know, any 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 questions you want to ask me about the collection, anything, guys, just get in there. So, yeah, if you want to be, see this lovely mug on your um, screen or phone or whatever you're watching for the next 31 days, rambling on about a load of rubbish, uh, you know, keep your eye out on the channel or subscribe, as they say. But, yeah, I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all tomorrow for day two of 31 Days of Horror. And thanks a lot for watching.